the Duke of Edinburgh has been trying to grow black truffles for more than a decade after planting hundreds of hazel and oak saplings impregnated with truffle spores in 2006. But Philip has finally harvested a crop of the prized food, known as black diamonds, at Sandringham in Norfolk. And the 97-year-old is understood to be the first person in the UK to grow the rare truffles. Adrian Cole, director of Truffle UK, which supplied Philip's trees, said, they have been highly successful. The majority have been the tuber melanus porum which is the French Perigord black truffle which is as good as you can get. From what I gather? In other words they have all gone to the house or members of the family you need a dog to hunt them. None have been sold. If you only go once every three or four weeks you are not going to produce very much, but if you go on a regular basis during the growing season you will increase your yield no end. Mr. Cole said that he believed it was the first time black truffles have been successfully harvested in the UK. However the truffle expert was not able to comment on the size of the crop. He said, you will never get that information out of a truffle plantation owner. They are very secretive about it. Mr. Cole added that he had absolutely no idea what the royals were eating the truffles with but he described some tasty ways to enjoy the luxury food. The truffle expert said, at its simplest they are marvelous with pasta and egg dishes. You don't really want to cook with them, it is rather like parsley or chives. You put them on a hot dish when done and serve immediately. They give baked eggs a marvelous taste. The Perigord black truffle are just delicious when they are thinly sliced and salted on toast, and gently warmed under a grill. You can also put them in pasta. There are loads ways of dealing with them.